Hello everyone and welcome to the next new raid update for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Real quick, raids unlock at different times regardless of your time zone so it's available for me now. Just check back tomorrow and it'll be available for you if you can't see it right here in your copy of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Yeah, we have a lot and I do mean a lot to talk about throughout the course of this video. Mostly the new uh, DLC trailer for DLC 17, the, what is it, Future Saga update with Super Ultra Super Villain, Rose, Goku Black, and Super Saiyan God Vegeta, rather nice. Also, side note, I do plan probably tomorrow or the next few days to do an Ultra Super Villain build, which I think will be a key-based Super Saiyan God build with Venus mode skills. Stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, do make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as about 50% of you watching this exact part right now are not subscribed. So please do subscribe. We'll be covering the new updates, Sparking Zero, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so there's two rewards from this raid. I already have them, but I'm not actually fully sure what the, those rewards are because on the website as you can see i'm sure on the screen now or at some point soon it's two artworks and it's called artwork 933 and 935 now naturally as of right now the last latest artwork is what is it 495 i do hope we get more in the next update i think we probably would but i think those two artworks is this artwork here of goku from dragon ball the breakers and i believe i'm not entirely sure i think it's this one i think i'm not entirely sure or it might be this i don't know it's one of them uh, it's two of them again i, I can't I, I don't know what they are i do apologize i just genuinely don't know uh yeah but next raid is up now it's the cell extra mission raid so these are a little bit trickier and only five people instead of six yeah the raid only started uh somewhat recently it's near that like 62 level, level 62 now again this is the only raid right now and the only way you can unlock the oolong clothing so if you want to get his outfit you have to do this raid i might once i get to fifty thousand points i may go and use my main burkle character Actually, it might be on uh, Burkhardt, I'm not entirely sure. And I may go and get the rest of the outfit, but we have to wait and see. And of course, I'll go over general tips for raids. You know, skills that you definitely shouldn't use and skills that are better to use. As well as, you know, I'll load into Burkhold, my freeze race character, to show the build that I'm using. So that said, I'll be back in just a couple of moments once we have a full team of five. Oh, that's, that's terrifying. Hold on, one, two... One, two, three, four, five. Why is there seven people here? <laughs> Yo, that's a. <laughs> now, again, it's just Xenoverse being Xenoverse. There's two. That's. So... What's going on? <laughs> what? Man, that's so weird. Anyway, question of the day. And I may ask this in the next couple of videos as well. But assuming that there's going to be a new Awaken skill for custom characters in DLC 17, nothing's confirmed right now. Assuming that there will be one, what a welcome skill would you like that to be? Maybe Super Saiyan 4, maybe Super Saiyan Rose, maybe Ultra Super Villain Mode. And I know someone's going to be in the comments that's going to be like, oh well, actually, Saiyans have too many Awokens. Shut up. Grow up. <laughs> right? Um, so yeah, anyway, go on, before we talk about the new update coming out, as usual, there's certain skills that you should avoid using in online raids these skills include mostly gigantic roar as that is a skill that yes it hits the opponent once it's a one hit attack it takes five bars of key to use but it's firstly it doesn't do that much damage compared to other skills such as just spamming the bending kamehameha honestly as well as someone here using the emperor's death beam a rather nice choice but more importantly for gigantic roar specifically gigantic roar will actually let's go for a cheeky final explosion attempt i wonder if i do fight uh <laughs> yeah no i'm not gonna do that in this video i don't think just spam benny come on me i might be able to death beam gigantic roar will hit the opponent once but it will then give them a few seconds of invincibility meaning that they cannot receive any more damage until that invincibility is over so it doesn't do that much damage compared to other skills plus it prevents everyone else from dealing damage for a few moments. It's just very, 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 very inefficient 
it's annoying. It's a no, it's not rude. Like if, if you don't know, you don't know. Like people who know, they don't tend to use it, right? That's whatever. But Matt, I'll be honest, so far, I've, I've not been uh, doing too much damage on first form cell. So he transforms, and I believe when he transforms after this, he'll then have super armor. I don't believe he has super armor now. Does he? No, he doesn't. Good. Okay. Yeah, another skill that you should avoid using are skills that will trap the opponent into a bit of a cutscene, such as Spirit Sword, such as the kick version of Special Beam Cannon Beast, such as Divine Lasso, such as Circle Flash. I'm sure there's more that I'm forgetting. Do you know what? I'm just going to spam Empress Death Beam for a little bit, maybe until... Actually, that's what I might do. I might just spam Empress Death Beam in this raid until he goes to his final form and then, or perfect form, then just spam Bendy Kamehameha because again, he'll have super armor. So it's just better for like, I guess like dexterity, that makes sense, or just being more agile. All that good stuff there. Again, in this video, I do want to get to at least a bare minimum of 50,000 points. Just that's like the, the standard, right? Uh, but I may use Burkhol, my main character with a super soul to try to increase the drop rate of certain well of clothing right or custom pick lot again if i do that i'll go over that later on and of course we shall collect the last raid rewards now i don't know if next week again this video has been recorded and uploaded the same day i don't know if next week there's going to be well, that's so loud uh, if there's going to be a raid or if they're going to do like a, a, another one of those breaks where it'll be like two days of the freezer event which everyone loves kidding no one likes it um all right, he's going to transform now. Yeah, okay. So at 2 5 he transforms to uh, final form. Okay. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, so okay, he's now got super armor. So at this point, it's very, very, very unlikely that you're going to land a max stamina final explosion. So do keep that in mind there as well. So it's just probably better just to spam the Ben Kamehameha at this point. Fair play for running the Zamasu Super Soul, by the way, which revives you. And by the time I get max stamp, max key back, I... Perfect. Do you know what? Let's pop a capsule. Don't mind if I do. I'm Xenoverse Rich. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's what I'm going to say. So next week again, which will be the first week in April 2024. Don't know if there's going to be a new raid there or if it's going to be like two days of break uh, breakers. Two days of the Freezer event. The two days of an online world tournament. The two days of the Freezer invasion event. It's the, no, not the Freezer invasion event. Two days of the Supreme Curve time tournament. Don't know if that's going to happen. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, these extra raids are actually more tricky, to be honest, because, again, the raid bosses are stronger. They have super armor. Okay. Ouch! <laughs> Plus, only, you can only have five people in the lobby instead of the regular six. Appreciate you reviving me, sir. Have a like on me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay. Yeah, I just have a feeling I didn't, like, I haven't got that many points from this specific run. Again, like, these extra raids do tend to take a little bit longer. So maybe I won't get 50,000 points in this video. I don't know, because, again, I've already got the rewards, but I, I might make this a bit of a longer video, just so we can discuss, or just so I could talk about the uh, new info that's came out today for DLC 17. Future, also known as officially, a bit of a mouthful, Super, no, it's not, Future Saga Chapter 1. And I believe this is going to be have, like, uh, four chapters in it. Yeah, you know, it's all instead of it being like, why is it normally like uh, two DLCs per season after extra pack at least? Oh, yeah, done now anyway. Um, I believe this one's going to be four. Then maybe it'll be after that. So it's going to take us to DLC twenty. Literally, how that's crazy. And I believe it's going to be like every six, seven months. So I believe this one will come out probably in April. But we'll talk about the possible release dates in the next run after we check how my points we got. Oh, okay, uh, ten thousand. That might. Uh, do you know what? I'd reckon that's probably like 37, 38,000 points, maybe. Maybe. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll check how many points we get, and depending on how many I get, I may just show the Burkhold build, then just use Burkhold with the Super Soul to try and get the rest of the Oolong outfit. One moment. We. Come on, okay. Yeah, I mean, I know you can talk to multiplying modes, but it's just... Actually, I might do that for the rest of this, because it's just a bit annoying flying all the way up there. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, also, I have a feeling that 
all of this like future sagas chapter one to four will have at least two characters in the dlcs that have that ultra super villain form then one like random character i have a feeling it's going to be base well not base form like ikari broly from dragon ball super broly okay i'll say like late thirty thousands. it turns out how my points i just got with that said i just got wait for it wait for it wait for it come on Hey, okay, 45,216 points are one of the harder raids, actually. So yeah, I'll, I'll, well, we'll get the rewards, why not? I, pr I will check the scoreboard again, but probably just once more, because it's pretty obvious I'm going to get uh, all like, max points now from this, or 50,000 points. Why do I have 28 gifts? That seems like Metal Cooler's outfit. Okay. Um... <laughs> Uh, sure. Hold on. This is from the last raid, which I did do a video on. I forget what the raid boss was. It was Bardock. The website did not say the Metal Cooler suit. It didn't say it. Feel free to go and rewatch that video. I list the rewards in the video. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, like, how come it's 28,000? 28, 28, how come it's 28 different items? And really, for that uh, raid, the main reward that you should have done it for was for that superstar there, which is what I'm using for this video. Which is why I probably just got so many uh, so many points. So yeah, I shall go and collect these right here. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, your energy is now mine to wield. Great. Don't mind if I do. Um, yeah, then I'll load into Burkhold, my freezer ice, and I'll show that exact build that I've just used. And then we'll load back into Burkhold on a different build that I'll put together real quick to try and get the rest of the Oolong outfit. I believe there's only three parts to that. I don't... I think I've got the... The pants, maybe? Hold on, what do I have? Uh, it should be before the Festival of the University stuff. Okay, I've got I've got the top there. Uh, let's just see real quick. I should have checked this before I record before I started recording. I do sincerely apologize. Oh, the bottoms. I don't think there's any gloves. And I think it's just the boots I would Oh, okay, maybe not, because I've got I've got it all. I don't think there's any gloves for him. Oh, okay. I could have sworn I only had one item one of the um, items of that. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, yeah, I'll load into Burkhold and show the build. Uh, yeah, one moment. <laughs> oh, okay, that's something I noticed just in Canton City where there was like basically no one around. So again, <laughs> I said it, I think in yesterday's video, which was the, what was it? The super full power mode. Oh, I can still load in. Okay, that's weird. Saying how it's laggy and sometimes when it's laggy like that and like how it is now, sometimes, but not all the time, but sometimes it's because they are getting ready to drop a new update. The literal day after they reveal the trailer and the name and the yeah, tentative release date of spring 2024. Again, this could be a coincidence. I don't know. But it's just a little bit interesting, isn't it? That the servers aren't working properly again when an update is imminent or rather when we get new info for the next update hey it's me tower okay loaded into burkhold my freeze race let me just remind you the g fuel flavor of the day it is the ginyu force flavor it's just pineapple try it yourself cold cac cac on checkout to save 20 percent off you guys know the deal and also, I, I'll be very vague about this. It's nothing to do with like me getting my own stuff, but G Fuel, I think in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to announce something really, really cool. Especially if you enjoy, if, especially if you are, I don't know, I'm not gonna, even going to give a hint because in case I'm not allowed to. Don't worry. I've been offered to try it. I might say yes, but whatever. Uh, but it's going to be really cool. Uh, so just stay tuned. It's something new that they're doing. It's going to be really cool. Anyway, I've got two different color schemes for Burkhold. My... Well, I've got the P yeah, PvP version I do for like fighting people online. The colors here is this pink down there with that black. So again, if you want to know what it is, it's that right there. But let me go and show you the build and how to get the Super Soul and all that good stuff, or rather what the stats are. You've seen the moves there, but to make this QQ bang, mix the DBZ Bardock top with the Beerus top and use a Super Mix Capsule Z as the mixing item and you will eventually get this exact QQ bang, if not one slightly better, as in instead of it being plus 15, it'll be plus 20. For Freeze Race and for a key-based sign, you can have neutral or even minus max points in health and strike skills. It's not going to matter because Freeze Race obviously has higher keys damage and lower health like a sign. But if you're running a key sign, you can, you know, with no strike skills, the strikes should be neutral or minus to give plus points to the other stats. And again, lower health on a sign, so 
whatever. And you also get attack increase when you have low health on the sign. This Super Soul, again, is from a raid. It just finished last week. So if you don't have this, it's going to probably be quite a long time before this returns so you can get this QQ Bang. No, it's not. It's a Super Soul. I'll get it right one day, guys. I promise. But a decent, well, actually, a pretty good alternative to that Super Soul is... This Super Soul, the Topo, I've cast aside everything for this. It basically does the same, apart from it gives you an extra, extra large increase to everything from the get-go. But the Super Soul Limit Burst is Super Armor instead of Attack Increase. To get that really? Super Soul, it's from a Legendary Pack 1 DLC Pedal Quest. Pedal Quest 145. I think it's quite a decent drop rate, so you shouldn't be doing it for too much, yeah, for too long. And again, as you saw, well, let's go summon Shenron momentarily. But then show you again the stats right here. I will be updating this once the level cap gets raised and all that good stuff. And the uh, skill set here, it's right there, right? Perfect. So I'll summon Shenron right now. Actually, I'll show you the color schemes I've got on this here. Again, it's just this purple for the PvE version. All good there, the same purple. So let me re equip my first producer and I shall summon Shenron and show you the creation appearance settings and all that good stuff. So if that said, just give me one moment. <laughs> Almost clicked the wrong wish then, and that'll be fine because you just restart the game before it saves, which I'll, I'll do anyway. Anyway, here's the, I always say it's Shenron so loud. Okay, voice 10 right here. Oh yes, it is rather nice. Appearance, again, pause to take a screenshot, all that good stuff, you know, in case you wanna, yeah, again, if you want to copy it exactly, then the creation color settings, it's that version of gray or black there. It's that version of pink, but again, with this pink for some reason, uh, again, screenshot if you want to know or pause the video. It's the same, I believe, pink, but the pink's the different location. It's at the bottom right there instead of it being there. <laughs> and again, it's that pink there, bottom right, and that black there in the top left-hand corner. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I think I'm just going to do the raid once more because I think regardless, as long as we pass the raid next, I'll get at least 50,000 points. That's all I, I really want to go for for this specific raid. But I'll have the Super Soul, su the Super Soul, the Piccolo Super Soul on to try and get some more I what, like items just for the drop raid. So that said, one moment. Okay, loading to possibly the final run for this video. Again, I'm on my main Burkhold character, as you'll see right now. I've actually put all Trinstinct on because, again, I think I'll get like, what, a, a few thousand points anyway just from spamming, even though I'm using key skills and Burkhardt is a strike character. But I've got QQ Bang on. I've got the Shenron went the extra mile Super Soul to increase drop rate after a successful completion of the mission. But there is also another one of the, I've got something extra special for you, which drops clothing, I believe. So yeah, all Trinstinct just as a bit of a, uh, yeah, to avoid being attacked and all that. Rather nice there, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ah, oh, yeah, Ultra Instinct, guys. <laughs> yeah, so I wouldn't say I'll be playing support here, but it's a, yeah, a case of I've got Hakai and Death Beam. Just for a bit of a giggle, to be honest. <laughs> Literally no other reason for Hakai, just, just, you know, as a bit of a giggle. <laughs> but I do think it should probably limit burst, because I've got the... Actually, you know, I'll wait for a minute, unless any, you know, just in case anyone's got the... Uh, what is it? The uh, Super Saiyan 4 Golka Super Soul that I just used. So it's going to make the Super Soul more efficient or the Limp Burst you know, significantly stronger. Why am I using Divinity Unleashed when I've got Surging Spirit? That's a very, very, very good question. Wait for it. Okay, might as well just Limp Burst there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to spam Emperor's Death Beam, to be honest, because I just need to get a couple more points. To be honest, this raid, again... I think I've got all the rewards, unless it's one that's brand new, but I don't think it is. I've got that Super Soul, a Super Soul, the artwork, so I think I will go for 50,000 just to, you know, make sure. I, mean, I forget when it goes to um, semi-perfect form, okay. Yeah, so I do have a feeling that each DLC of the future chapters, or future saga, whatever it's called, is going to have three, three characters each, with, with two of them being, like, the super ultra-villain forms. <laughs> uh, of characters so we know it's gonna be super saiyan god vegeta and super saiyan rose goku black for this one so leave your guesses in the comments i think it'll be characters like maybe like kefla possibly hit possibly fuse on maybe uh doesn't have oh gohan beast imagine gohan beast in that super sorry that ultra super villain form i like how they call it ultra as well as a, as a, and given how he looks like ultra instinct 
Ultra Ego even. Like, such a direct reference, and obviously because they just couldn't get the... Um, I don't have to cater the rights. Also, I don't do what that guy's doing. That, uh, what is it, Destructive Fission? Not Fission, Destructive Fracture. That's another like, cutscene attack. It, it, it doesn't do that much damage, and you're just preventing other people, and he got KO'd as he deserves. Uh, I'm not going to revive him. He can stay there. Uh, just use Emperor's Death Beam, you know, Consecutive Energy Blast, Bomber DX, Bending Kamehameha, all rather excellent choices. So, one more Emperor's Death Beam, maybe two actually, because he'll go for at 2 out 5 in, on the battle timer, like when it's 2 out 5 left. He'll go to his final form. Do you know what? We might, maybe, be able to go for it twice more. Certainly once more with Max Key. Yeah, might as well do it. Actually, no, we won't. We've got enough time to go for this. Then maybe, no, not even Max Key again. Wait for it, okay. Oh! Oh, do you want to transform cell? Or is it different? Depending. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that guy's going for. Destructive Fracture. I mean, maybe, he just, maybe he's new and just doesn't know. In which case, okay. Fair enough, but I don't believe he can do it now because Cell's got super armor, therefore grabs won't... Well, I say grabs won't work. Yeah, whatever. So at this point, just spam Emperor's Death Beam, maybe, or any sort of skill that you want. You know, that, like, works. Going for Destructive Fracture. Oh, wait, did, did Cell... Oh, I thought he T-posed. <laughs> he didn't, but whatever. Yeah, I'll just go for the Hakai, even though it's probably quite pointless here because, again, even when it activates on Cell, he can just move out the way. And it's taken quite a bit. Do you know what? Be let's just spam the bending Kamehameha. May as well at this point. Oh, yes. Oh. So, yeah, uh, last, last one, I think, because I will be really surprised, even though I'm not using Burkhold, I will be very surprised if this run doesn't give me a total of at least 50,000 points in total. Yeah. I mean, we've got just over a minute left. Rather nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, the future of Xenoverse 2 is interesting, rather interesting. So yeah, I think there'll be three characters in each DLC for this uh, season, I guess, with two of them being ultra super, it's such a mouthful, ultra super villain characters. What am I doing? Calm down. Uh, with one of them being like a, a different, like um, not a random character, just like uh, a different character that probably doesn't have much to do with the story or the extra missions or what have you. As in, I have a feeling it's going to be a character like Full Pale Bow Jack, maybe, which that's whatever, it's just one of the first things I thought of, or hopefully base form slash Ikari Broly from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Ow. <laughs> oh, okay, just gonna one shot me. Uh, at this point, don't revive me because by the time I'm revived and I've got all of my. Oh, don't. How... Oh, no. Okay, I thought that, that perfect comment, how I was gonna hit one of us free. <laughs> yeah, I've not got enough time now to. Um get enough keys so let's just pulls for the camera with punisher guard okay ten thousand points and that gave us all for forty thousand so i think we just basically need maybe two or three thousand points here to get a total on the scoreboard of fifty thousand and we have oh hey look that might just barely be it and also that guy that was spawning the destructions fracture it's that kata 104 guy Again, if you don't know, that's fine. But as you can see here, he got dead last place. <laughs> he got last place. Um, so he probably got from that, got maybe, I don't know, 8,000 points total. Again, let's go. I went to the multiplayer mode, so we should, well, we will be quite close to the scoreboard. We'll check the scoreboard, then I'll show the pedal quest to get that super soul. And I just realized, didn't get anything, so that was pointless. <laughs> didn't get the Oolong outfit. Ah, one moment. I would be a little bit annoyed if I don't have 50,000 points, but I'm fairly certain that has given me, given me, me. I'd say about 34 to 33,000 damage in total from doing two runs. It should, hey, what's up, the oxygen at the bottom there? We've need 300,000. Hey, 60,000, I'll take it. So if I did this once more, I would undoubtedly get a total of 100,000 points. And again, for that Super Soul, the Shenron really went the extra mile. You can get, which is supposed to increase drop rates. Uh, it's from a Hero of Justice Pack 2 DLC. It's actually the latest uh, Pelo Quest right now. Pelo Quest 162. I think it's a fairly high drop, so that's how you get it there. Thank you all for watching. Good luck with the raid if you're going to do it. Let me know what you think about the new trailer that came out. Also, a quick note, this video has been uploaded, recorded, and uploaded the same day on the Thursday, the 28th of March, 2024. I do plan on doing a super clickbait April Fool's video for this coming Monday because it's April Fool's. I'm not going to mention it again, but just keep that in mind here. The video uploaded on Monday 
is going to be super clickbait, even more so than usual. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you in one of these videos on the screen right now in just a moment.